guys, guys it's, it's Ava and, and Brooke. Brooke, and today we have two, two little cute, cute guys, guys waiting for me soon. And so, both of them are a baby, we have one crested gecko and one leopard gecko. I got, she recently got hers like today or yesterday. I got my, oh yeah, she got, she got hers, hers today. a couple weeks ago. I got hers like, I got mine like three or four we're, weeks ago. We're gonna ago. be showing you guys how to like take care, of them, take care of them, what kind of light like, sources you need and everything like that. And, Sorry, um, guys, my dad just bought me food and a drink. All right, so why don't I show you hers and then I'll show you mine. Yeah, I'm going to show you the what you need and stuff. So right here, as oh, it's really bright. As you can see right here, we have a UVB light. As you can see, it's, it's too long to be standing on its side. It'll, like, go out. And we recently got... Because we switched the two bulbs. Yeah, because this one is, like, more for, like, a hot. So we put the um, UVA light in here. As you can see, it's really bright up there. But there's, like, more space. And we usually put that near there. And then this is just, like, it just sticks out to give extra heat stuff. And then basically for his healthy diet, I just give... For his healthy diet, I just give him crested. Let me let it focus. I just give it crusted gecko powder, all living things, and it's 50 ounces. Guys, real quick, if your gecko, like, climbs up, don't be scared. Because but he can escape, so I suggest if he's near the top, he try and get out. So don't open the lid. And for the crusted gecko right now, I just have a little sticker thermometer. As you can see right now, the, if you can see the little glowing thing right here, it's 82 degrees. So that's actually pretty good. It's just and guys, real quick, you're not gonna be seeing my gecko because he's in his mushroom. But tomorrow no, or this weekend, so your crested geckos to... basically try to get out like that. See, when they're really near the top, you don't want to take them out unless you're like taming them because they usually try to come to the top for some like fresh air and they oh, try and to. Oh, they got guys. They do jump because he was on that wood back there. And yeah, and the he jumped up on the top. See, he's trying to like. So, anyway, now we're going to be showing you guys what you need. So, basically, for the living area, we just had some eco-earth sand, and it was $6. It came in a little brick size thing, and it just expanded in the water. And then... Sorry, there's a little... Oh, um, uh, yeah, that's dirt. Um, right here, you want to let this sit for, like, 30 minutes if you get that. Right here is just my water bowl. I made that the water bowl because it has little steps, and it's deeper that's just the calcium bowl and where I'm going to put his healthy diet food and everything like that. And I'm pretty sure I told you guys, but this is the heating lamp right here. You need two different lights for your crested gecko. And I also gave her another healthy diet because my gecko does not eat it. It's they, act, they made a mistake. It's for crested geckos, not leopard. Yeah, so we just have a little tall Paris thing that can help them, you know. And the yeah. coconut and the Paris were in our fish tank. Yeah, we have a little hideout right here, you guys, and that's just a coconut. It's not that, you know, what you expect to get. But um, we actually got that in the fish section for $2. This is a big plant that we just put in so that he could go, and then a, a stick right there. That was $13. And our total with everything in here is about $140. Minusing the two coconut. And the so my price. birthday was actually yesterday, December fifth, two 2018. It's, it's the year's 2018 right now. My birthday was yesterday. If you go in the description, it tells you when I posted this. So it was yesterday, and I had 110. I had had 110 dollars, and then my grandma just paid the other 20 something. So yeah, this is our cage setup. Yours. Yeah, my cage setup and everything about it. Now we're going to get to the. Now we're gonna get to the temperature and everything like that. So for your um. For your crested geckos, you're gonna want one cool side that just has the light. light with it. Does you don't you want a UVB light that doesn't give heat at all? It just needs a regular like you have on your ceiling fan. If you have one like a regular, you know, doesn't give heat or anything. And then the other side needs to be heat. I put they um you're usually supposed to put it near something that's high so they could go up and get the heat. And then I put the I put it near that plant, and then I want this water and stuff to be cool. So when he wants to go there, he can just go in. And then, last thing, your temperature. 
is you don't want it to be below 70, you, well, you don't want it to be below 78 degrees. And if it is, then you need to, like, make it. Like, yeah, you need to make it hotter. That's why we're telling you to get the two light sources. And if you can't afford it, they're not going to give you the Crested Gecko. We had a hard time getting this little guy right here because they wouldn't let us get him if we didn't get everything. And that's what is what he looks like. He is so cute, you guys. Look at his eyelashes. So cute. Anyway, you want it, your temperature to be 78 to 82 degrees. And, yes, yeah, so. All right, now I'm going to show you my. Wait, so you, know? you see that little glowing thing right there? That is what it is. So now we're going to go over to Brooks, and I'm going to give her the camera. Wait, let me put it in there so I don't see the mess. Kind of messy in here. We didn't clean our room today, so. You go. Oh, and also, here you could show them, but you also want to mist your, for both of them, you want to mist your reptiles Yeah, you want to get like a squirt bottle. For your, any of your reptiles, you want to get a reptile <sighs> misting tool. Like this one. Yeah, and you kind of want to spray it like, like Oh, this. and for the... Like that. Oh, and, and make sure you don't spread spray the gecko. Because they can get water. Because they can get water in their ears. And we have a light for nighttime. We have mealworms over. Guys, this well, isn't. super worms. We're going to need mealworms because they're too big. This isn't really like a nighttime bulb. It's like for day and night. It's just, you know. Okay, so guys. That was more expensive. Just so like, I have a big plant back there. The light that they got, it was like 20 25 something dollars. It was really expensive. So, yeah. um, we got this mushroom that we got from our fish tank. We got this, it, you, it's really hard to see because it's, um, red in there, but this plant is pink and white tips. That plant back there is purple, and the other one is orange and yellow. Um, we have a little plant right there. We have, um, that big rock. This is his food, water bowl, and the other one's his food bowl. We have a little rock right there. This is actually the temperature gauge. I don't know if you guys could read the temperature. It is 73.2. So, yeah, this is my cage. And the, for taming your leopard gecko you want to take everything out of the bowl place your hand in there and he'll lick you don't be scared that he'll bite you but he'll only right. bite you if you grab at him all right so another thing that we have we recommend for you guys is buying this it was 82.93 and it's like a thing where you click it and it tells you but you have to put it like near like so in the look, cage. it'll tell us the temperature in this room and 73.9 is exactly what you need. You it can't be it can't be 69 or lower. So um, we're gonna try it in the tank. Look, no, guys, no, no. You have to put it inside of the tank. You're just gonna oh, hold that light. You're just gonna lift. Here. You're just gonna lift the tank up, put it in, click it, and take it out. And then it'll right now it yes, is. It is 72.2. So it's actually exactly. One. Oh, that says 71.6. But it did say 72. This one is actually almost the right temperature. So and that's if that's the exact for like one spot, yeah, we, this is for the whole cage. We recommend using, we recommend using this. Oh, I almost fell. Oh, so and we have a pile inside. of the stuff for that. So the temperature on my side, this heating side right here, it is 73.9. Almost and as close as mine. The temperature on the cool side is 71.0. So that's actually kind of good because you want it to be 72 and higher. But the cool side, you could, you know. And then it's okay you, if it's and lower. And how you want to mist it is basically just like this. Just show them real quick. Oh. You just want to mist it around. So I'm trying not to get, you just want to squirt it. Oh, and make like sure that. you don't get your, well, for the um, leopard gecko. I don't know if those are for all geckos, but make sure you don't get their them wet yeah because they can get infected and if they feel something because they're because they're because for my gecko i don't know if it's for her gecko too but um so guys they, my drink with the ice in it is 60 i didn't stick it in there i put it near the cup and it said oh and guy i don't know about her gecko but my gecko, you can't Whoa, get water guys, in the Guys, look, ears. I put it I put it on the side of the cup and it said it's forty six point eight degrees. <laughs> it's freezing. Let me try yours. 
Hers is colder than mine, 46. Let's try my hot food. So guys, we're basically trying everything. <laughs> 92. 92. I'm trying to see like. All right, guys. So that's it for. Wait, let's see how hot this is, guys. Wait till you see how hot this heat lamp is. I'm not touching it. Okay, guys. This is actually kind of a surprise. It is 357 degrees. That's just the light. It's not that actually hot in there. Yeah, but it's this is how this is how much heat it's giving. It's giving a lot. Of okay, guys. So that is this, it for today. Um, tomorrow we are going to be making a video about picking them up and stuff. Well, and how I'm to, gonna be making a video about to, taming mine. Yeah, but hers and don't is like to a go, little harder. Don't forget to go subscribe to my channel, The Savage Princess. I tomorrow, well tonight probably, they're active at night, so. And I suggest you don't bother them in the day, kind of, because, you know. It's okay. Well, for the leopard gecko, it's okay if you bother them, like, for 15 minutes, like, 15 About 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, about 10 to 15 minutes for mine. So, and I, I will, hers. I will be at Brooks tomorrow, but I'm having a birthday party, unfortunately. <laughs> but I will be here probably <laughs> Saturday, and I will probably be here before the party. And I'm going to bring it over, and we're going to show you, I'm going to post it on my account. And I'm going to show you guys how to team them, and I'm probably... So, so she's gonna bring over her phone. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna use this phone, and we're going to. Yeah, on yeah. Brooks, on Brooks. Um, I'm probably tonight. Um, this is actually, um, her phone that we're gonna be using, and I'm probably gonna be using this phone because this is our vlogging camera. I'm probably gonna be using this for. I'm probably gonna be. Sorry, guys. I keep stuttering, but I'm. I'm going to be filming on this phone tonight of how to tame your crested gecko tomorrow. She's gonna, we're gonna make a video about the when leopard. I come home from school, and then we're, go, I'm gonna probably make a video like every day, probably every night, well, except for Sunday. Oh, and guys, I suggest you feed this to your um, feed this to your leopard, your, uh, feed this to your crested gecko at night, and then the mealworms and crickets, whatever you want, in the morning. So, guys. Um, for the leopard gecko, I suggest you get mealworms. It depends on what size it is because if it's like, if it's like, if you just got it recently and it's not big, then it needs the tiny mealworms. But if it's like about this big, if it's an adult, then you would need uh, yeah super worms. What? Alright. So, sorry guys, but that's my granddad calling us for dinner. Like we're oh, little you. kids. Well, we are little kids. So we, um, this is a weird shaped rock. Actually, we did not get this from Alright, hold on. Brooke has, has to leave, but I'm probably going to be filming another video. And so, um, this is a rock you can put. I'll keep filming you, kick up. Just say bye. Bye guys, I have to leave. Sorry. She has to study tonight. And so, basically, I don't have to study tonight. Bye, ba guys. Bye Brooke. Bye. Basically, um, you can use outside rocks. I just prefer you wash them off really quick. But I'm not going to be putting any more stuff in there until, like, because these food and water dishes, they're, they're big, but you should get big ones for crested geckos because they have a lot of space to climb around the walls. Huh? Well, I have to take my desk with us, so hurry up and finish. Oh, I Alright, guys. So, basically, that's it. And I'm going to be going with Brooke, unfortunately. But we can still film in the car and tell you guys a little bit about the Crested Geckos. And, yeah, basically, that is all about your Crested Gecko. You can, you can like, cut some wood and... Um, you, you're supposed to boil the wood and put it, bake it for like 30 to 40 minutes. And Where are my pups picking me up? Okay, so 73.5 degrees is this rock. You want your rock to be hotter, but... But it will be hot since, since you put it under the We suggest lamp. not to get a heating rock because... Because what happens is the they don't um, lose well, it or something. So you can get it for the leopard gecko. We just don't prefer it. Because yeah, because it sits on there too long. And they and burn. Yeah, but it's okay if you get, get a heating pad, put it on one half. For the leopard gecko, get a heating pad. Yeah, they're heating pads half. like this small, just, you know, 
But, but if, if you buy the whole kit, it comes with everything, the temperature, not this thing, but the temperature This was eighty two ninety three. you guys. My dad bought that for his RC car, but we're using it for something particular because he does not need it. Yeah, and right here it says scan because this is kind of like a laser That's thing. That's what you put. So if press. we put this in the camera, it would like turn red. Yes. So I'm, <laughs> let me see what my body temperature is. My body temperature is... Wait, I'm going to sweat my palm up. My body temperature is 86.7. Alright, and my wait, body my... temperature... Okay. Hers is 87.3. And you want your hand to like not be cold if you're for the leopard gecko. So, for the leopard gecko, if you just use the bathroom and you just wash your hands and you're about to play with your leopard gecko... I suggest you use warm. All right, you guys. I'm pretty sure water. I'm about to take. Yeah. So this is actually pretty good because the temperature in the tank right now is 84, and that's actually kind of good. So let me just. Yeah, it's 84, and it's actually kind of good. Well, this one actually says 73.9. That one is just like the closest. This one tells. The, like the whole cage. This one only tells like cause one it, part. I just sprayed it and it's kind of wet, so like it scanned the wetness too. Yeah, but but the make sure you don't touch anything with the tip of this because it can ruin the it. The temperature like tells the whole cage, but this scanner tells like it. You put it on one part of the cage, and it tells. Alrighty, you guys. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take this little guy out and show you guys him. Wait, where is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm about to take him out. And, guys, um, tomorrow when I come back from school, I'm going to be making another video on this account. So, and let's just... I'm going to be holding my leopard gecko. Turn this off. Turn the, that light on and face it down here. So, guys, we have all these light <laughs> sources around this room. We have... They have three heating... Well, we have... Two lights and two heating lamps for our geckos. I actually like mine when it's in the dark because, like, it looks pretty. Yeah, like, it's the like a reddish. Looks pretty with the red light. So basically, guys, the only problem is when you have um, your heating source lamp, we suggest you leave it on like no carpets, no wood, but but like a cardboard. Where's that? Um. Okay, so you like could use like cardboard. a cardboard like this. Because it would actually burn the carpet and wood. Yeah, so and it would definitely ruin carpet. And definitely so. ruin wood because my dad's, me and my dad's stupid mistake with that lamp right there. Show him that lamp that he just picked up. This is the UVB, so. That, the UVB lamp. Um, yeah. The UVB lamp burned It's 656. Wood. It's 656. Burnt the wood on my dresser. Alrighty, guys. That, guys. So make sure I'm gonna try to get cardboard. this little guy out for you. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. You want me to get you? Um. Yeah. Alright, you guys. So I'm Hold just on, gonna I'm pick gonna him up tonight. Alright, I'm gonna put my dad's temperature gauge back. Gauge back. So I'm just gonna pick him up tonight because, honest. What? What's Joey I'm talking about? But Joey's going to be helping me. Alright guys, so now we're just going to flip the switch. And the lights turn right back on... Vlogging, vlogging, oh my god, I can't talk, vlogging a lot more, um, because I have my gecko, and, and I have my rabbit at home, so I'm go. and then we're gonna, like, a lot more pets, I yeah. have a hamster, a gecko, that's all the pets I have, and a dog, and a dog, and, um, I, at my house, I have here. a kitten, two pits, Pinfoot. uh, Pinfoot. yeah, that's a snick, short nickname, and I have, I have a rabbit, and I have oh, ha now she had three guinea pigs. 
she saw what to and then and one of them passed away the and then i just got this side. little guy today hi i guess that replaces your pets and she has a beta fish at her house too this was actually mm, this all together it actually Minus was a hundred I mean, hers hands. was like almost a hundred dollars mine's 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 was a like hundred and thirty three dollars so if you guys look at the tanks me and brooke had fish tanks but we just bought the top screen for you know jumping animals because they use sorry guys i'm covering the mess they use that for they, well we certainly had this tank for our fish we cleaned it out this was actually my tank yeah. well it was both of ours and then like she used stuff. it. I was supposed to use it for something, but I didn't buy anything at the time, and she did. And we just bought the screen, and then she got the mealworms over there. And well, then no, we... you bought the mealworms. Yeah, but you guys bought the 50, remember? Yeah, I, so, she bought the 25, we bought the 50. Right here, you guys can see we got we bought a stand, too. No, they actually are going they to actually go They actually sell these at um Walmart. like Walmart or something. We actually we got it for 120. We bought that because we're too short for the cage yeah. because it's on our... Well, we actually, this is a, it was actually in the pet section for like to get up to the aquariums for fish. And it was $120, you guys. <laughs> We spent a lot of money for our pets because we're pet we, lovers. Yeah, sorry. Well, we don't have that many pets, but only because like we could afford them. It's just over time, the food oh and everything. Gosh. All right, guys, we have to go because my dad's phone, well, our vlogging camera is going to die soon. So say well, bye to the animals. animals and their wonderful cages that we took time my, to set up. Oh, um, I'll try to get you to see my animal, like. When I team, you'll definitely see my animal when we team him because he likes to hide in the blue mushroom. And All my right. dad actually catches him at night sneaking around his cage. All right, you guys. So Hope bye. you like this video. Don't forget to like, like and, and subscribe, subscribe and hit the little notification bell. And at the top. yeah, that's basically it. Bye, guys. Bye.